<laughs> it's fine. Are, the, are these are these unlisted videos on YouTube? I don't remember. Oh yeah. Hey, it's fine. Bro, if my, if my students see me playing D and D, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. <laughs> you yeah, D and D. Uh, it's like that's not even me. Okay, yeah. I don't even know who that is. I don't yeah. know that person. Salem, who? Yeah. We, we we don't know each other. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, um, right. Cool. Glass. Um, right. Swear a lot in the session. So you guys, um, as we uh, begin again. So you guys have just uh, as we finished uh, the last game, Saima, you just dealt the final blow uh, with your sword made of uh, sort of like I guess it was just like smoke and shadow. Uh, you cut through the final uh, bottle. Uh, your sword had just kind of like dissipated. Um, there's a like big, big black bald man uh, suddenly appeared next to you, uh, just out of nowhere. Um, you guys are in the uh, in the con like Japanese convenience store, I guess, uh, where you guys started um, feeling that horrible feeling and uh ashwin had those like pings of things which are not quite alive um you're still in this like very clean kind of like imagine like japanese ikea um uh and if you Pretty need cool. to know the name of the actual store i, I legit went up to the angel uh, shopping center and i was like that is exactly what i was looking for um really yeah what is it? <laughs> uh it's called like it's is it no, it's Muji. It's like M E J I. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's where you are right now in uh, in an alternate Angel uh, Central Shopping Center. That place uh, kind of Muji, you know. Yeah. It is. But at the well, moment, we pick, we pick quality places to fight, you know. At that of moment, course. this place only quality is, sake to break. It's empty in here. Um, as I said before. With that final uh, green tea bottle defeated, uh, free uh, Johnny and um, Rattus, you three suddenly feel your um, basically that that kind of like uh, burning sensation that you've been feeling this whole fight from that mark uh, that marked you all that time ago on the uh, the subway. Uh, shop incident that mark is suddenly just like no longer burning um, with that final bottle kind of defeated wait I had a mark sorry so you, that's yeah. uh, where, where, um, where on, uh, on Julie where your skateboard truck uh, pierced into your chest uh, <laughs> there's like a small pinkish scar um, that had been okay. burning as well Okay, okay. All of your sort of marks from your it interesting meeting with the slaughter had been sort of like burning that whole fight. Uh, the they whole just fight. died away. Okay. So, guys, first things first. Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> yeah, who the fuck are you? We square up against you. Wanna, hey, I mean, do you want to describe like your character? Us. Uh, like, Dorian. Uh, you just grabbed it for me. <laughs> I wasn't going to be. Okay, uh, this is right. I am a bold black man with very, very bushy eyebrows and a thick, like, white moustache that is curled up at the ends. Uh, I wear a three-piece pinstripe suit, navy, with very, very clean Oxford shoes on, black polished. I can see the reflection in it, and also you can see your reflection in my forehead. Um, that's how it works. I'm wearing kind of like, um, do you know, like a Texas bow tie where they've just got like a symbol in the drawstring. Um, I'm wearing one of those and there is like a golden lapel chain with it there. And I also have a cane and I wear a signet ring that has a depiction of a lady on it. And that's my character. Nice. So, uh, who's the lady? <laughs> and point at his ring. The lady is the reason why Vikram sent me here. Hello? Are you going to tell mm -hmm. us more or? Uh, you don't need to know anymore. I don't uh, like this guy, guys. I'm just saying it right now. 
Hey, listen, Rattus, who do you like? Let's be real. Rattus, at this My point sister. in your head, Rattus, suddenly you just this hear, you just hear, Rattus, uh, 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 <laughs> all right, uh, send Check. help. Wake up, Rattus. You... Chips, are you close by? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got the impression that you'd been sent a message that had 25 words and Chips used all of them for mumbles, basically. Um... Thanks for the message, Chip. Uh, uh, Vikram sent me to help you because the job required looking for lost spirits. And that's also something that I was interested in. And why is that? The lady on the ring. Who is? is is that the la- what, what kind of lady? Can I see? Do I see it? Yeah, yeah I, I I show them the ring. Am I? I I'm, it's gonna be. Uh, I'm a cleric, so it's part of my religion. I take my photo and take a picture. I mean, photo. I take my photo. I take a photo. Oh my god! Um, um, reverse girl, <laughs> I will say. Do a religion check. I will say that. Can I say, <laughs> Salem and Johnny, as sort of like. Members of the kind of like magic of the city, uh, you guys can both make a religion check. All right. To see if you recognize the uh, sim- symbol in the ring. You oh, are? you have to do it on D and D. Do you have to do it on D and D? Yeah, you, just, you can just you can just roll for it if you want, guys. But if you don't D and D beyond, that's that's cool as well. I got uh, a three. A three. I cool. Got a, I got a twelve plus my religion. One second. Uh, I'm telling you now, right as you've got no fucking idea. Who the fuck is jo- that? Joe jo what? Why is he? 14. Why has he got a ring with Jesus on it, Rattus? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, so so you're a Christian? When, <laughs> when is this like? A, is this a thing? So, no, it's a memorabilia from Jesus Christ Superstar. I saw it the other day. <laughs> oh shit! I love musicals. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Uh, Do you like the Book of Mormon? The Book of Mormon. I'm actually taking my mum to go see that for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, or is the character? <laughs> Both. Both. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, he's good to his mother. What can you say? Um, you. Fourteen. Do you want me to roll an opposition check? Uh, it depends. Are you trying to hide it? Uh, I'm trying to hide that they're that I that they're missing. Uh, I'd assume so. I mean, if you're trying to hide stuff, you can roll a deception. I think probably though with a fourteen. Um, they know. Johnny, you you've seen this symbol before. Um, it's Seems. something to do with kind of the sort of more magical. I guess, uh, less kind of like day-to-day sort of waking world London, uh, but you can't really remember um, where you, where, where, sort of how, how it's relevant, essentially. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's cool. That's all I say. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I also have a yellow smiley face badge on my lapel as well. Yeah, he's not cool. Uh, you He's do, cool. you do that's recognize that's actually, that's actually you would recognize the badge, both of you. Uh, Is that? I love Nirvana. <laughs> Not Nirvana. I was going to say Watchmen, actually. I was going to say Watchmen. Yeah. Um, you both recognize that he is probably one of the friendlies. Um, what? They are members of the Church of She Who Walks Beside, Our Lady of 4 a.m. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, she is kind of the goddess who, the goddess who protects you on your walk home from the club when it's late at night and you feel like you're going to get stabbed and you're kind of praying like, please, not today. (laughs) The person you're praying to is, is she who walks beside. Um, she's Um, what? Is she on level with the beggar king? Similar kind of power levels. Uh. More, more godly one one. Uh, than the Beggar King. She's kind of, she's she's what keeps you safe um, at night, uh, which is when the bad things come out. 
Um, she's like a, a serious, serious protector goddess. Um, like you can ward buildings by chanting her name at the right time. Uh, she is spiritually the goddess of like, you know, security guards who work late nights, like late night shift work nurses and stuff. Or like there tends to be lots of devotees to Our Lady. Um, it's a big church, but it's kind of like part of the magic world of London but obviously they don't get involved a lot they just kind of like they worship in their own way they keep people safe uh they try to be nice um they don't want like bad things being out there they tend to be kind of like you know keeping the monsters away if anything but there there's a lot of um non-magical members of the church as well Okay. So uh, you're a member of the friendlies, huh? Do I know this already, or um, is he going to tell the, us? The, yeah, the badge. The badge really gave it away. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah I am. Uh, I'm a believer of the Lady of the Door. A lady. Does that mean yeah. you're an yeah. Yeah. Our Lady of Four AM. Lady of Four AM. Uh, am I on your side? That's. Uh, we'll see. Uh, well, if you're not with this, you're this, against is, this is the first time I've met you, but Vikram has come to help you. So, I, yeah, three, could say um, I'm on your side. Free, you get a text message at this point. Uh, okay. It just says... I want the sound of the um, notification. Just says, extra support sent V uh, from an unknown number. Oh. Because the green tea was too powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you say Damn. that? Damn. What, you think we can't take it on? We were what almost dead. Let's be real. Let's be real. <laughs> we were <laughs> gonna die. <laughs> Johnny, shut up! At that moment in time, the uh, the Twilight Sanctuary stops and your health uh, dips again. <laughs> Johnny, you're pretty um, beat up at this point as well. I'm back, dude. I'm... <laughs> Anybody wants to do anything in particular? Uh, Johnny... Did we? Did we take a short rest, by the way? Uh, no, you can do, but a Go. short rest is like an hour of like staying yeah. in this abandoned. Johnny, what's your health? Who wants to go McDonald's? Wait. <laughs> should we keep exploring, or should we go? Uh, also, um, I just to let you guys know, although the sort of burning sensation of the sort of the presence of the slaughter has gone away, um, you in particular, in particular, you, I think, Salem. Uh, sort of ratters as someone who's very connected to the flow of the city as a yeah. as a druid of the city feeling sort of uh the nat nature of the city could you roll me a, na a nature check actually absolutely um i'm gonna just go get my glasses yep oh 22 22 nat 20 Ooh, nice. uh with that nat 20 uh you you reach out to kind of the the what makes the city the city you reach out to like paving stone and and the sewers beneath and all the life of the city and like i said this place nowhere uh so at the start i told you guys that magic is life life is magic there is no life here, which is mad. Like, London just does not work like that. Um, London is not a place where you can be away from life. There are rats, there are, like, you know, there's bugs, there's people, there's just, like, you know, there's animals, there's so much going on here. There is nowhere you go where you are completely away from life. And here, suddenly you feel nothing. There is no animal here. It, there is nothing in the air. Um, and as I think you feel that, I think you also realise that you were kind of feeding off uh, some of that magic from that mark that you had that let you cast spells here. Um, that that mark that 
that was on your body meant that you were able to actually cast magic here, but th there is no magic in this place. It's a complete dead zone. Um, I, I turn to three and I say, do you, do you feel it too? The lack of life. I don't think my magic was working on its own. It wasn't using the environment. It was using this mark. Okay, as well, but what does that mean? And what, how can you relate to all the spirits going to think? I don't know. But how can a place be devoid of life like this? I've never felt this before. It's a dead zone. Well, are we in the basement? No. You're well, still no, the ground floor of Angel Shopping Center. Should we still, should we keep going down? Should we check the, sh the shop? Like the storeroom and everything? We can were told that there is some writing on the wall. There's, oh, yeah. As far as I can remember. One of them says, make me a shadow on the wall. And the other one says, don't forget to turn off the light. Indeed. You are most right. Uh, you can uh, investigate those if you want. Uh, so what what are you each planning to do? Let's just kind of jump around from uh, uh, from sort of like uh, top sort of top left to across on my screen. So we'll start with um, Ashwin. What are you doing at this point? I want to heal. <laughs> You're going to so heal. bad. Uh, that will take your like short rest time. Basically, you need to short rest to to heal, which means you're sitting here for an hour, which you can absolutely I do. I have cure wounds. I can hmm? use them if needed. I have cure wounds. I, I can use them if needed. No, don't use don't use cure wounds. Use your good berries. That's I'm more efficient. Doing. You have good berries. That's more efficient. Oh yeah, I have good berry. Yeah. All yeah, right. you can you can make ten per spell slot, and I can get ten HP nice. per spell slot. Where are you sat with your HP right now? I'm at seven. Fucking hell. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so um, I'm going to hit you with uh, 10 good berry. Yeah. Uh, what do the good berries look like? Alright, um, so I reach into my pack. Oh, actually, and I no. Come up... Oh, sorry. I forgot. It work... It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, shit. Okay. Wait, magic wouldn't work here. Yeah, you would oh, You would have but... known that magic magic doesn't was only working for... So it worked for you, Free... Because you get your magic from a different place, but you felt that there was something blocking your magic, like it wouldn't have worked very like well. There's something not here that it needs to be. It's like you know, uh, like sound doesn't go in a vacuum. It's that kind of feeling for you, um, mm -hmm. free. Uh, like your connection with your patron would have been cut off here, um, but because of the mark that you all had, it let your magic go through. Okay. Uh, now, for you, uh, Ashwin, and for you, um, Dorian, your magic would have worked anyway because it's divine magic. Uh, but for the other two, your magic wasn't working in this place because it was just like a dead zone. And magic no longer works here now that those spirits are gone because you're, you've okay. lost your marks. So uh, you, uh, Ashwin, and you, uh, Dorian, you can still cast spells here. But the other two can't. Nice. Okay. Um. I try and I try and like. But, um, I try to, but I fail to heal him. Free could but you... try, but it would be it's hard to cast at the moment. I'm just gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna go heal up, safe. Okay. I considering my magic and Rat's yeah. magic isn't working. With, I don't think we should all split up. Um, Can I go back to the apartment <laughs> and chill? He's gonna go home. <laughs> no, I'm gonna die if I go anywhere. <laughs> I don't wanna die. I have to go catch well, unless... Like Wait, I said, okay, how, uh, like, as I said how before, is though, everyone's health? Oh. I'm okay on health. I've got like I lost ten points, but I've um, I'm chill. This is what I want to do. I want to get McDonald's, go on the bus. And just ride it all the way from one end to the other end. Keep riding it. And then eventually you'll come back after one hour at the point where this thing is happening. That's all I wanted. Orion gets his phone out and boom of fingers the nearest McDonald's. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a while away. <laughs> is it? How far is McDonald's? Nothing, nothing is open here in the thing. Obviously, like you, you broke in. As I said yeah. before, though, Salem, you were like 100% sure there is nothing nearby. Yeah. Uh, it's like creepy nice. creepy how nothingness is nearby 
we are we are injured i have free and i have no access to our magic if we continue it is almost guaranteed that we are going to be either badly hurt or dead yep mm-hmm. should we take a short mm-hmm. rest flight somewhere let's find a mcdonald's let's yeah let's go mcdonald's, find McDonald's. I Pretty, can book good heal all food. three of you if you require it. Hmm? No, I can good. heal all of you. you, you should I'm not even. You should save your spell slots. Let's just use hit dice, right? Yeah. When we can. Yeah. I think um, you get your spells back, though, don't you, Simon? Because you're a warlock. Warlocks get them back on yeah. your rest. Yeah. Yes. So that's the main thing I need. I don't think that my health was affected at all. I... Yeah. Then, uh. I just 20 bucks of food. nuggets. Oh. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I have my meal ready already. It was, it's like two of those mech chicken. Uh, no, 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 just the chicken sandwiches and that's and fries. Okay. Bro, Breathe the vegetarian. Are so expensive. You think you got the money for that? Um, Get dude, yourself a 99p it's, it's, chicken. That's, that's, that's the one I'm saying. It's uh, 99p each. Two wraps of the day, you're done. That's uh, a good point. That's a good point. No, I should... no, no. Wraps is not worth it in terms of calories. <laughs> like calorie wise, oh, it's not worth it. Okay. You're at McDonald's. Why are you counting calories? <laughs> no, 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 I'm counting <laughs> calories. So I, no, 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 I'm counting calories so I can get more calories for less. Dorian's like getting angry, like waving his staff around in the air. She's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Look, guys, calories aren't real. We know this already. Let's go and get some McDonald's. Were they not? Hold on. No, mortals um, made them up. Is, is anybody investigating yet, or are you just going now to McDonald's? I think we're just going for okay. now. So you guys, uh, can you guys can make all a make note? a stealth if you're Ooh. going? Ooh. Cool. Uh, I wanted to make a note of the um, where the words are in the oh. shop. Uh, you can take a fo- photo of it on your phone, Boomer. <laughs> yeah. you, you hold your phone like this, yeah? Wait, wait let me get my phone. <laughs> nice. Eight. Yeah. Because I have disadvantage. Uh, oh, eight. Okay. Um, Rat I've... got eight. Twenty-two. Have you still the, got the classic, Parcel Art like, Trace? Like, like, no, you don't. Uh, no, that's concentration, right? Yeah, I think that's gone. Uh, um, and I think the sword is a concentration spell. The blade. Uh, the shadow blade, shadow, blade. Yeah, that's done though, and uh, that that ran out. Um. So, are you take a picture of it. Yeah, I've taken a picture. Okay, so uh, you've got your picture of the things. Uh, off you guys. You guys can go off to uh, get McDonald's. Uh, it, I just need stealth rolls no, no. from the last last few. Um, what so do I roll? Dorian. Uh, your stealth. Just your stealth. Oh. 11. Um, it's in the long column. Yeah, in all, in all your skills, post. free. Uh, it's just above survival. Hmm. At the bottom. Yeah, it's like second from the bottom. Uh, also, uh, do you want to uh, say him? Is there? A, do you want to do circle of the land like a city druid? Or... You said circle of stars. I chose I circle think... of stars. Cool, 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 cool. Just so I know yeah. what your um, short rest do. Yeah, yeah, I'm you, on circle of stars. Because you do stars. get something now, uh, I think. Oh, oh should do <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, um. Can you make another stealth check, please? Everyone. Everyone, uh, everyone yeah. Another one. All right. Yeah. Physical dice time. Just to see 20. what happens. Twenty. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my guy. Five. <laughs> oh, cool. Sorry. Is you do not have the 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 health to be doing this right now. Nineteen. Cool. Ten. Ten. Oh no, that was enough. That's cool. Uh, you, for a moment, uh, you three and Johnny are like just about to barge into each other, um, and you're like about to hit each other, and then at the last minute, um, Rattus just uh, like quickly stops both of you. You crouch down low, and uh, you pass through that kind of like wire gate. Uh, that you were uh, coming in through, um, and head off to a Mackey D's, man. It's like you know, twenty minutes walk. It's not too bad. Uh, they're still yeah. open. It's like you know, I think we said it was like eight, nine o'clock at night. So it's probably like ten o'clock at night around now. Um, oh. Mackey D's is open. It's chill. Uh, what do you guys want to do? <laughs> I'm 
I want to uh, order a share box. But are we done with all of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can... Oh, wait, wait. Can... Okay, can I do my short rest dice then? Can I roll yeah. those? You can do hit dice okay. and stuff and do a short rest. What are you looking for? Nice. Dor Dorian's oh? and the cows are asking what's uh, everyone want. You can do... Um, it should be uh it should be on your thing as hit dice. Uh I think if you do um oh, I can't remember how you do it now. Nice. So if you click on your health uh, when it you will click not... yeah you can click um I think you can uh what do it? when you click short rest it should do a lot oh, of stuff rest. for you. There's like an option okay. right at the top where it says short oh, rest yeah. and long rest. Do so you click okay. that and then you can um click to like uh basically heal. Uh, just like Johnny's done. So you'll have different hit dice depending on what uh, like class you've got. So oh, Rattus, you're just using one of your hit dice, so you heal your like five points or whatever. Yeah. Um, Johnny used like yeah. all his hit dice, I think. <laughs> I, I used two. 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 So I have one more. Nice. Okay. I was still in the McDonald's. Uh, you you were in the yeah. McDonald's, yeah. Sat down. Got yourself a nice uh, dinner. A very, very bored person kind of just took me one in like, oh, yes, yes. Share box of nuggets. Yeah. Okay. I like how you think we didn't use the self-checkout. I, I was thinking that. I, don't um, really use I think Dorian yeah. as a boomer wouldn't know how to do it. No, I no, think no. Yeah, you've, at least you, Dorian, no. went up and got it. At the, at the thing. Hey, I'm I'm a, I'm not that old. I'm only like yeah. 130. <laughs> <Fine>. <laughs> Absolutely old. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you guys uh, have had your short rest in Achilles. Okay, Johnny, what what's your health at now? Sorry, Ashwin. Me, I'm Johnny. <laughs> yes. Sorry. <laughs> what's your health at now? <laughs> uh, I'm at 24. But I could use, yeah, and you you know you could keep those good berries. Like if one of us gets knocked out, shove it in their mouth, one of them, and they bring back one HP. So yeah, so but yeah, I've got, I've got a few slots for them. If you need extra healing, I can hit you up right now as well. Yeah, give me that good berry. Give me four All good right. berries. All right. right, I reach into my bag and I take out a packet of magic stars. Right. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, I hand it over to um <laughs> to Johnny, Pete. and I'm like, here you go. I know you need this. Solid. Thank, Take you. It. Thank you. Good stuff. I mean, very, I think yeah, four. Yeah, very on theme. Um, wait, so, wait. How many do you give me? Four. Uh, you said it was ten per slot, right? Yeah. So you give me four of yeah. ten. Okay. okay. And then you keep the rest six, I guess. Okay. Uh, you want to share it out as long as you guys keep track of it. I ain't keep track okay. of inventories, so uh, <laughs> it's your job. Um, gotcha. Right. Um, you finish your short rest, what are you guys up to? Uh, can we discuss our next plan of action? Yes. Can we go back to the place now that we're red healed up? Me? I still can't access my magic when I'm there, neither can free. Yeah. So if we go in, you guys are going to be our... Um, our protection. We could split up then. You want us to split up? How? That's a good question. <laughs> Do you I said, think if I said you... before free, you could probably access your magic. It would just be difficult. Um, yeah. It would for you, uh, Rattus. You couldn't access your magic, but you can probably still change shapes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That, I was going to say, if you change shapes before you get into the area of dead magic. Would it, do you reckon it would still work? He asks between question. dipping sweet and sour and curry sauce oh, with a nugget. Gosh. Dorian makes a good point. If I turn into a rat and I sit on Free's shoulder, will I stay a rat? So do you want to go back? Wait. What, what time is it? Dorian looks at his watch and then looks at the DM. Uh, <laughs> Dorian. I guess it's like 9.30ish. You've got a bit, you, uh, it's a bit later than that. It's about, um, oh. probably say about 10.30 now. I said it was like 9, 10 o'clock when Yo, you kind of got Last there. tube. Back home. Oh. Tube, the last tube's at like 12.30, don't even worry. That's true, that's true. Just... Let's just get an Uber, for God's sake. <laughs> Look, oh, okay. do you have Uber money on, man? <laughs> he got Uber I money. I am a for a reason. Have you seen the chain? 
<laughs> Damn. All right. So you can <laughs> can you do a trip for all of us? And just uh... yeah, sure. It's fine. I'll pay you Okay. No, you won't. Dor Dorian, <laughs> you seen how you're dressed? Dorian, you know you are boomer enough to know that you can just invoice Vikram and he will pay you back yeah. for all of yeah. your travel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the rest of you have no idea. So, yeah. What the fuck is an invoice? That's I've got I'm like saying. the only thing I can use on my phone is like Google Docs that's got all of my invoices like compartmentalized yeah. for like different expenses. I love it. Um, so where are you going? Yeah. I mean, we're heading back. Where where we had? Okay, wait, wait. So the slaughter emptied out of that place. Should we maybe look at, like, I don't know, is there like buzz on the internet on the uh, on the what's the thing the kids call the Twitter, if you will? <laughs> you're not you're not the I'm boomer. Not I'm not the boomer. <laughs> Dorian rolls his eyes. At least use Reddit for God's sake. Yes, oh, no. I mean there might there might be something on there. Didn't we look it up before? You we, found uh, out about the shopping centre before. Um, I think that this is a separate investigation check. I, I like do, you've got to be a bit more specific on what you're looking for, but then I think it's a separate investigation check. Um, yeah. On, on what should we just should we just take out of one that look? Yeah. We just. Why don't you look what? at any missing persons? Yeah, we got we got McDonald's Wi-Fi. We got this. It's so calm. Perfect. So everyone roll investigation. Alrighty, I guess. Uh, yeah, everyone happening? can roll investigation. Okay. Um, oh, I got a plus four in investigation. Got plus zero, yeah. and I got twenty-three. Uh, nice. Nice. Yeah. I got a nine. So okay. Uh, I don't know how to use the phone, so uh, I'm googling well, it's hard. Uh, I, I, forgot to, I forgot to mention it's a thing going forward. Also, I completely forget about it a lot of the time. Uh, so feel free to just like take advantage. But uh, normally it's two people can make the check or one person can make it with the advantage. Just because otherwise, okay. if there's like loads of you rolling all the time, it's chances unfair. are you're going to beat yeah. the checks. Um, yeah, and that makes sense. It just makes like a little bit quicker. Um, mm -hmm. that works, that works. I will say though, Raz, with a twenty-three, um, do you think you you're googling this, Raz, or or how? Like, have you got a different way that you think you? I told you, I'm a research master. So, uh, um, ooh. oh, I don't use Google. I use DuckDuckGo first of all, um, and and second, um, Maybe maybe I open up Tor. Maybe I'm like hitting up my my contacts on the dark web. You know, like nice. maybe I'm I am in chips. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> maybe we have a little back and forth. Chip, chips has no technology. <laughs> <laughs> chips has like a Nokia phone still. <laughs> like Jesus Christ, um, chips. Come on. Ch chips is is barely in the texting age, um, and and quite enjoys it. Um, Okay, I, I think, yeah, Raz, you're, you're just like a fucking elite hacksaw, uh, and you absolutely know how to how to get around things, get onto, like, proper search engines. You're, like, flicking through, like, databases, like, council databases, bit things here, there. What is starting to pick up a, a bit of chatter, it's like you're starting to notice is... Um, there seems to be a lot of like businesses closing down recently. Um, like, like there's a couple of like reports. Like, there's like a little article from like the Economist. It's just talking about like a rise in like London business failings and talking about like what might be the reason. You know, this, that, and anything. Um, and you. You dip into uh, a couple of secure uh, sort of like technomancy chat rooms, you know, things where you like type type key on the keyboard and create like runes uh, and runic symbols start to appear and you just dip into a different chat room um, and you can have like, there's lots and lots of like spell models and like this and that and this and then there's like, you know, a couple of just like sort of magically inclined people chatting uh and you see that there's a couple of people oh at 23 you recognize a couple of names 
Um, what are these names? You recognize that one of the... One of the... You tell me the name, actually. You can name this character. Oh my god. You know I'm gonna come up with the worst names. Literally, the first thing that came to my head was Leet Haxer 339 <laughs> Okay, The they're, worst they're, name in the world. Their chat group name... <laughs> It is the Hacksaw okay. 339, okay? Yeah. Uh, you don't know them by their real name. Um, they're, like, quite pretentious and refuse to ever use their real name. Um, you think it might be Eric. You're not sure. Um, they are a quite shit sorcerer um, who uh, lost their home. Um, they're, like, one of their mum died really young. Um, their dad didn't cope with it very well. They ended up in like a home. They went out on the street, um, and they realized that they understood the city in a way that was like, you know, what essentially happened was that chips found them, uh, wandering through the sewers because they thought yeah. that they were a rat because they were so connected to the city that their mind had become one with kind of the vast majority of the creatures and they are uh, the yeah. very kind of rat-like sort of dude. Uh, like, but quite young. He He's like sort of 16, 17. Uh, okay. Brown hair, freckles. Um, just a very young, very good at technology um, and has a, is a sorcerer, but is particularly a sort of sorcerer of technology. Um, you see them in the chat room um, and they're chatting to a couple of people and uh, you see them say uh, just in the world between lol um, out to do some work for chips all these uh, missing spirits got a moving mad Um, um, I respond. I I I am um, at him, and and I'm like, um, what kind of? Okay, you know what? No, no, no. I privately DM him, and I'm like, what kind of work is Chips um, making you do? Uh, you get a. <laughs> is a pimp. Um, you get like a lot of just like memes uh like like just like a rush of memes come towards you like all these like memes because they're just excited to like chat to you uh and then they're like oh cool ratters uh uh haven't heard from you in a little bit um chips got, the latest memes uh like lots of just like all of this is like interspersed with like emojis and memes like uh chips sent me out to look for um the prophet. And I could send back a question mark. Uh, not that prophet, lol. Uh, prophet, prophet, like see the future and shit. Shit. Um, did you manage to find them? Uh, don't know. In world between, lol. Signal shit here. Um, need to get better Wi-Fi. Uh, just in the world between the cracks. Uh, checking out. I hear he's here. Shit, how do we get to the world between? Okay, you know what? Um, I pulled back from the phone and I looked at everyone and say, um, does anyone know how to get to the world between? Between what? Um, Muted. As a fey being, would I know how to do that? No. Cool. Does uh, anyone know? Ratters is probably the only person. Uh, roll a history. Uh, Joe, you know what man? Uh, just, I think this is a, a wisdom thing. So just roll me a standard wisdom check. Are you wise enough to know of the world between? I can't know him. Eleven. Um, you don't really like go there very often you're more kind of like all about the world below um but you know a bit about the world between um there's like three different worlds there's the world above which is like daylight london uh and nighttime sort of london uh obviously night london is kind of where all of the magic happens 
Uh, but both of them are collectively known as the world above. Uh, right. There's kind of where Chips goes. Uh, it's like more like the home of like the Beggar King, uh, those who get left behind, um, kind of like the homeless, a couple of other groups like the tribe, they're all in the world below. Uh, and then there is something called the world between, uh, or its full title is the world between the cracks. So every time you hear like a news report where it's like, you know, they just fell between the cracks in the system, all that sort of stuff. That's the world between the cracks. Okay. Um, and it's been used enough that it's become its own realm. Um, it's a mad place, the world between. The world below, you know how to navigate. The world above, generally, like, there's not a lot of problems going on. The world between is just fucking weird, you know? Like, it's not quite what you'd expect. I um, think, like, certain laws of physics and stuff just don't apply in the world between. Can I send a message to Leet Hacks and say, how did you manage to get into the world between? Uh, yeah, um... Uh, it takes a while to send through this time. You see that the little like spinning, like you know, it's taking a while to catch now. Um, and then after after a little while, you get another message back. Um, Chip sent me in. Um, Chip showed me the way. It was super easy. Um, you probably couldn't do it though. Uh, lol. <laughs> um, I send back a middle finger emoji. Uh, again, it takes a little while. Uh, and they, they just send back like a laughing emoji, like LF, L, LFMAO, and they're like, just like, yeah. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I stop looking at my phone and I tell everyone, uh, I think we need to go see chips. And I slide my phone with a picture of the words to rat us and be like, oh, shit. you think this anything has to do with it? Make me a shadow on the wall could be something about falling into the crack. And it was an area that had no magic and no life. That's a good point. Oh, don't forget to turn off the life, light. Maybe that's how you access it. It what, has to be a Were the lights on when uh, we went? Um, no, there were no lights, right? Chip was completely blown out, man. It was empty. Yeah. So mm. should we try and go back there and try and find the wall between? I'm just gonna find a crack on the wall and just like place my hand and be like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's closer, uh, Uji or Chips? Uh, prob probably uh, at the moment, Muji would probably be closest. You'd have to go oh, find the Chips. I just said a random wall, any wall with any crack in it. <laughs> any wall. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> roll the bet. Roll a D one hundred. Oh my god! Uh, what is that? Is, is this one right? Uh, I think it's, it's, it's like zero. a percentile die. Uh, so it's like the two like spinning top looking dice. Uh, oh, okay, that one. And the D one hundred. And you roll it that, twice. So and seven, that one. No, no, this one. As well. You roll them both together. Yeah. I only you, have one of those. You should have like uh, two. Both of them. Mate, look at my lovely pink dice. Uh, you should have one that has like mm -hmm. tens and one that has uh, like normal uh, numbers. Definitely, I gave you a set, a full set, so you should definitely have one. Yeah. From the one you I roll one d10 and then your percentile dice. So you roll the d10 and the the like double digit number thing. Uh, and that yep. will give you a number. Uh, I see it now. I see it. You okay. want to get a double zero on the uh, D100 die. I want to get that. Okay. So yeah. I got 39. Is that close? Uh, you just <laughs> you just start stroking a crack in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. In the McDonald's. In the McDonald's. Okay. Hey, Johnny, should we... you should touch your butt next. I think you there's doing a crack there. <laughs> okay. I'm looking at you how to get to Muji as quickly as I can. Um, okay. you, you can walk there. It's like, you know, 20 minutes away. Okay. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> when we're like near there, can I use Divine Sense? After I finish stroking. 
Bully. Uh, what when you get to when no. you get to Muji? Or before? yeah, I want to use because you're going to roll a stealth check to see if you can get into this abandoned building again. I guess like before on the way, like just before I enter. I'm just gonna okay, roll stealth checks then. The okay. I hate stealth checks. <laughs> the pain of my existence. That's why I make you do them. <laughs> well, I got so, 10. Damn. Oh, That's, okay. But, but, okay, you guys, 10. you definitely. I got 10. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys definitely uh, stealth in. Um, as you as you guys move towards the um, the building, um, free, you have uh, a symbol of the pact that you made. What does that symbol look like? Uh, like when you made this deal or got this wish, uh, you got a an item. Uh, could be anything. Could be a necklace. Could be you know, whatever you want. Uh, but you tell me what that looks like. Um, would it be okay, cheesy? If it's a um, a little keychain of a little chili lamp nice. that I keep with. I actually have to keep with me all the time. Uh, okay, nice. Nice. Um, I will let you know as well. One of your abilities is to hide inside the lamp, um, <laughs> and I think you can take people with you. Um, oh, that's sick. Uh, I you'd have to double check what it looks like. I think at the moment it's like up to your proficiency modifier or something, but I'm pretty sure you can take people with you. Um, it's one of your abilities uh, if you look at your mm -hmm. character sheet. Um, from that, it's called bottled respite. Um, from that small lamp keychain, guys, uh, you suddenly feel like just thin wisps of smoke moving out around you guys, um, and the whole of the outside world uh, shimmers, and you realise that you are completely enshrouded within this uh, sort of pool of smoke. That people outside, cameras outside can't see you whatsoever um, as you just easily make your way into the shopping centre. Um, you are Wait, confident... did she can't pass for that place? No, but she rolled a nat 20. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Let's go. Uh, you guys are completely invisible as you go through into the building, uh, into the movie, I imagine. Sweet. Um, as you enter, again, you guys are feeling that, like, Salem, your magic, you can probably change shapes because that's like an inherent ability of yours. It's changing shapes. That's more like I turn into a rat and, I, and I'm on um, Free's shoulder right now. Nice. But you can't cast spells uh, apart no. from Primal Savagery while you're here. Okay. Uh, uh, does my Divine Sense speak anything? Um, nothing. Absolutely nothing is here. Checks out. We good. Let's go. <laughs> What did it say on the wall? Uh, it said, um, "Shadow on, the, make me a shadow on the wall, and don't forget to turn off the light." Um, Is that wall illuminated at all? Uh, no. I will say it's most of you guys can kind of like through m mystic means, essentially. Um, particularly you, um, Dorian. You see in here like it's fucking daylight. Uh. The, oh yeah, <laughs> this this is like you know, dim light does not affect you in any way, shape, or form. Um, Grey dawn always makes sure you know how to get home in the middle of the night. Uh, you you can feel it's almost like for you, the street light is almost visible and kind of moving around, swimming around, illuminating the whole area. Uh, so. Because I do, I see anyone like squinting in in, in the darkness or anything like that. Um, let me double I'm check. Probably squinting because um, I'm human. I think you would see. Um, you would see. Oh, I think actually, uh, everyone apart from ratters. Uh, so uh, free ratters and... is now a rat, and yeah. rats have very <laughs> yeah. well in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. So free, I... so free and uh, free and. Uh, 
Johnny can both are like sort of squinting a bit in the dark. It's not too bad in here. Uh, it's dim light rather than like pitch black because most places in London are dim light. For it to be pitch black would be mad. Uh, yeah. You get the impression um, though that like the basement will be dark. Can I can I click my fingers and use Eye of Night and share my vision with all of them? Yeah, absolutely can. So they all get three hundred feet of dark vision for the next hour. Uh, you guys suddenly begin to see um, it's like someone is pulling in like ribbons of light uh, through the door. You see them like swarm around um, Dorian for a moment and then just and float around you guys. Um, it's it's like starlight in here. Uh, you guys can see clearly everything um, in this place. So, what are we doing? Are we going to the basement? Wait, where's the basement? Uh, there is a basement. It is for for the purposes of roll twenty. It will be pretty much very similar <laughs> to this map. <laughs> uh, but there is a basement. Yeah. How are we already in the basement? When? I don't know. We're we're on the ground floor. Oh, we're already. I'm getting a yeah, 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 yeah. basement. Have we explored the back rooms? Uh, a no, staff room. There's a there's a staff room and stuff as well. If you want to go that way. I'm going to be stroking the wall with the writing. Okay, Blast. so the, the writing is <laughs> uh, the writing is like over here. Um, so there's writing over here. Um, I will say because of your lovely dark vision thing, you can now see uh, everything uh, like day. It's illuminated. Uh, I'm just going to go to this right real quick. Like, Illuminations. Oh. Where did you say the dark thing was? Can you point that I again? I was here. Oh, there. I'm just going to quickly go get a drink. I'm going to go there and engage in some. I don't even know. Wall what... stroking. Wall stroking. <laughs> mm, I have to stick with free. Free, where are we going? You can be on my shoulder, like, activity. Does anything happen when I hold on, like hold my hand on the wall? You're holding your hand on the wall. You look like an idiot. Yeah. Um. What would? Happen? And then I just like zoom gets <laughs> teleported in. Um. Nice. <laughs> I will say that the as you approach, the one that says "Make me a shadow on the wall." Um. Even with your dark vision, that feel like writing feels like it's absorbing the light. Um, it looks like it was like spray paint on with like black spray paint, but as you get closer, it just doesn't. It doesn't look real. This is uh, rolling a religion or an investigation. Religion it is. Damn it, Diane. I think Sorry. that's that's enough to know that this is created here by magical means. Whatever this writing is, it wasn't. It's it's here because of magical reasons. That's why it's here. I'm gonna throw my hand axe at it. Uh, you can do. Attack it. When I don't understand, I attack. <laughs> um, you can do that if you want. Uh, do you want to throw it against the wall? <laughs> Oh, do I have to roll for it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 11. 11 uh, to hit. 11 to hit. Um, uh, you just throw it into the wall. Uh, it does nothing. Does it, like, stick in the wall or bounce off your Just, like, clangs to the ground. You feel like you just threw it at a, like, wall. Like, the wall isn't magical, probably, but the writing is. Nice. Uh, at least that writing is, anyway. The other one is not. Can I... Sorry, can I cast, like, an Arcana thing? Yeah, you can... To see what kind of magic it is. You can roll Arcana. Um, also, uh, as a just a quick other thing is, um, 
for for your um, character free, it might be worth just um, getting like a uh, I'll make an item in homebrew or something uh, to give you like the bump to your charisma score or your spell casting or something like that. Uh, just so you're not getting like done in by low intelligence, uh, low intelligence, because I think you can use intelligence or charisma as a as a warlock if you want. Okay. Can okay. I, can I get HP? <laughs> um. What? So Arcana. I got a ten. Um. With that though, you, I think you realize that the. The words there are magical, but it feels like some power has put this here. Uh, this is some sort of very weak curse, I think, would be probably the best description of what this writing is there for. Um, it feels like a warning. Um, and the other one feels like it was carved there by somebody. Somebody put that there. It wasn't magically made, you know, cursed into this place. Uh, somebody put that there. Uh, like they carved it in deep to pure but concrete. Is it magical? Not magical, though. Wait, what does it say? Make sure you turn off the lights? Is that what it said? Don't forget to turn, the lo uh, turn off the light. Yeah. What if we covered this... The other sign in like a cloth and made it dark, super dark, or something. So that maybe that's what it's talked about. Maybe don't forget to turn off lights means cover the other writing in darkness. Um, can somebody roll a d20 for me? So I'm you do it. You do it. What? Just, uh, click right. the d20. Just or roll with your nice dice, click clacks. <laughs> no, I need some click clacks. <laughs> Just roll a d20 and uh, tell me what the number. Is. Mm -hmm. Roll with the bajillions. Got an eleven. Eleven. Um. Okay. Nothing happens. No. <laughs> Wait, did she cover it with the uh, something? No, she what? just found out that one of them is uh one of them is magical and one of them is not. That's all that she found out. Yeah, I'm gonna cover it with my jacket or like something. Cover the writing, magic writing. Uh, can do. Nothing else changes. What is what are you doing? Uh, or what are you investigating, Rattus and Dorian? Rattus is sat on Free's shoulder, and they're just sort of squeaking at them both but i don't think anyone can speak with animals here can they no. yeah are you doing so, anything though are you investigating anything in particular actually at this point yeah i i climb i clamber down off of free and um i start sniffing around the uh corner of the room over here now are there any other doorways present uh yeah there, there, are, there are some doorways. Um, you point you, them out, please. Uh, there is a doorway here, here, and here. Okay, yep. Yeah. So um, I'm in this corner here nearest to my companions, and I'm sniffing at the door. Um, is there any gap for me to be able to get through, or is it completely closed? Uh, you could. You reckon you could probably slide on the door, yeah? Um, I, I run back to Free, and I, like, nip at her. And then I run back to the door so that um, they know where I am. Okay. okay. Uh, so free, you see uh, Rattus, like, tug. Uh, I will. <laughs> at your, I, I, what are you wearing? <laughs> Skirt or jeans or what? <laughs> yeah, what are you wearing? Jesus. What day is it? So it's like, it's like 1st, 2nd of September. Um... Oh, it's the time where like students are still trying, so I think Free is looking kind of nice in like a nice blouse and like trousers and like <laughs> cute shoes. Nice. So um, so Free's a little bit like miffed about this brat, kind of, like even though you're my friend, <laughs> lifting up my 
houses. Um, but I will follow to stay near the door just in case something happens. Okay, are you going in then, Raz? I am indeed. Uh, you see, uh, there's like a little uh, like manager's office type thing here. Um, it's again, it's it's weird. You get that feeling. It's like there's like a perfectly good office chair, and then things ain't cheap. Uh, like here, there's like a mm. uh, plant. It's like dying now because it's probably not being fed like any water in like a week or so. Um, but it's one of those like you know like cactuses, sort of like hardy kind of plants. Um, there's a big like filing cabinet, kind of looks full, um, and there's a bunch of like you know stuff boxed up um mm. but just like left in a pile it's almost like someone packed away all their shit and then was like J fuck it i just don't even care and just left um can i chew through the bottom of one of those boxes can do you um what am i seeing through that hole um some like personal stuff i guess you know like there's a there's a mug in there it's got like you know world's best world, world's best stepdad like on a mug uh that looks pretty like hammered with views um you see like a little like dust sort of yeah like, probably not dusty cause it's quite well preserved it's not been very long uh you just see like a photo frame kind of like you know Two parents and a kid. Uh, you see just like a couple of like bits and pieces, you know, like the kind of stuff you like accumulate if you work at a desk for long enough. Um, Is that just in the bottom box? Uh, just in the bottom box, yeah. Yeah. Um, can I try and climb onto the next box? Because I'm trying to look for anything like papers or anything that might actually be have information on it. Um, roll an investigation check. We'll see what you find. 17. With that, the first box is just full of kind of like, you know, like, you know, invoices, day-to-day -day business stuff, you know, uh, like bits and pieces. The second box down, though, uh... After you open it up with your teeth, um, you can see that it has uh, a big document j just labelled Bill of Sale um, uh, and kind of, you know, legal documents. Please keep. Um, I run back um, and squeeze under the door and I nip at free again and then I run back under the door. Can I get in the door somehow? Yeah, um, the door's not open? locked. Oh, so you can okay. just open the door. I will follow. Um, I'm stood on the relevant box and I'm like sort of like bobbing up and down like like, like a rat would do. Okay, I will open up the box and read the papers. Okay, your... What was it? Was it international law or international politics? I what you did. I don't remember. I think it was like human rights. -ish human kind rights. Of stuff, so. Yeah, that was it. Human rights. Okay, so as part of your like human rights kind of uh, studies, uh, you did a whole module on law last year. Um, so I'm going to allow you to roll an investigation with advantage. Cool. Because I think you you kind of understand contracts and stuff. And good job with it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Uh, thank, thank you. Um, yeah. So, in that second box, you find this thing. It just says like "bill of sale." Please keep. You find a big stack of documents. Um, there's a lot of legalese. You kind of can get the gist of it. Um, obviously, this not being something you studied. Um, it appears that the um, the shopping centre itself had been bought out. Uh, by somebody um, and this was basically saying we're gonna have to like pay you back for like the time that you would be here we're gonna like buy back the unit we've been leasing to you 
um, you're going to have to move out. You've got like, you know, whatever, uh, like two weeks or something. Um, uh, unfortunately, like we, we just need to make a quick sale. Um, lots of talk about, you know, people coming to the shop numbers had been going down. Um, people didn't like the atmosphere. Um, they're considering about like closing down, reorganizing. Uh, a lot of kind of like platitudes, but basically we're selling this place, so you need to get out. Um, is kind of like the general gist of this um, from uh, the contracts that you've got. Um, so they kind of had to close down. Um, the parent sort of company that owned the shopping centre wanted to get rid of the shop and everything in it, basically. Wait, you said the shopping centre, so not just the shop. So yeah, the, the whoever ran the shopping centre, they sold off the whole shopping centre. Um, and for some reason they closed, they told everybody to move out. And it didn't, it didn't say a reason, did it? Um, oh, yeah, pardon, like, people it, aren't just going in. It just said that we, um, there's a, like a cover letter where it's like, I'm really sorry, I really apologise, but as you know, uh, traffic to the shopping centre has been steadily declining for the past, like, two to three months. Um, there are a number of reasons for this, yada, yada, yada. Um, we have, um, made a decision, um, that we would like to sell this, uh, to allow it to be renovated. Um, this is part of like a larger company restructuring plan. Um, we understand that, uh, you still had time left on your lease. Um, uh, we're going to buy your lease outright. Um, so you no longer have the leasehold for this place. Um, there's a load of talk about like how much it would cost and then they're basically like we're giving you this lump sum to buy back the lease because we're selling this place um, because it started to go downhill is what you kind of get from the gist. Is there a mention of any other company involved, any third party or is it literally just communication between the the uh, owner of this, this property and the leaseholder? Um, any with... names at all? With the investigation you rolled, you realised that uh, basically this place suddenly just like lost a seemed to have lost a bit. Um, you find like uh, a bit of like extra papers that are essentially similar vein of like you know uh, there's less traffic to the shops, so we're going to like lower the rent slightly, so we understand you know blah 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 blah. We understand that, you know, the pipes have been leaking recently. There's lots and lots of, like, it appears that this place suddenly went downhill after, like, like maybe, like, four or five months ago. Um, this place, like, suddenly got bad. Uh, you also find that there's, like, uh, there's a couple of, like, companies uh, offering to buy the place. There's, like, two or three uh, prior... Um, basically notices to say we're going to sell on the shopping centre but they're keeping all of you guys on um, and then uh, like uh, uh, dated like a week later like the deal's fallen through um, and like sorry for all the disruption uh, we're going to stay on as owners and then like the first one back is like six months ago and then it's like four months ago and then it was uh, last month and the papers you're reading are, de are dated like two weeks ago is the most recent one saying basically we sold it and you need to move out um you gar you gather that this place has only been empty for like a week okay that means in that week someone wrote that graffiti on the something has moved in and you know ignited green tea bottles to come after us and also sucked the life out of this place but like i said you know that there's been problems going on for like six months. Yeah. Uh, like it started to go downhill. But this place has been empty for like two weeks, maybe. Maybe like a week and a half. Wait, when did um, the disappearances of the spirits happen? Or start? Um, Do we uh, not? Okay. Uh, roll, About six months ago. Roll intelligence checks. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. Do you know what? Dorian would know this if you asked Dorian. Okay, I will walk out of the room and ask Dorian. <laughs> Politely. Um, 
Dorian, Where is Dorian? The spirits have been disappearing for like eight months. Uh, but the big one for you, uh, the more specific problem for you, that's only been the last like two, three weeks. So would I know it's been eight months um, or would I just go two, three weeks? You know it's been like eight months. There's been I know. Okay, cool. Um, there's, well, yeah, I relay that information. There's been problems for eight months. Okay. So it was before... It was just before the um, break. It was just before things like got to go downhill here. Asking mm. Vikram to uh, are we asking Vikram to look into it? Is that what's happening? We were asking Dorian um what he knows about um the disappearances and this place going downhill, and Dorian answered that it was how long ago, Dorian? Eight months ago. Eight months. Yeah. Can we not just ask Vikram to see if he can tell us who was the ones who... Uh... You could just search it on public house because all transactions for land property have to be there. Dorian as a boomer would know that. That... Hey! <laughs> uh, hey! Roll, a, roll an investigation check. Uh, Dorian. <laughs> the oh, <boomer>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're going to be investigating this because you're the one who knows our uh... works. But, uh, that is not going to be good. Investigation. That is a eight. So it's not working for me. Uh, you, you, I'm, you, I'm know, struggling. you know about this thing. You, you don't know how yeah. it works. Um, I'm struggling to unlock my phone. Yeah. The, somebody messed with the fingerprint recognition and you can't remember your password. So you're currently just yeah. staring at your phone a little bit like, oh, God. <laughs> Not again. I'm trying to use the different, <laughs> trying to trying to use the different fingers that yeah. I have. <laughs> yeah. Um, Wait, did you say two checks per group for every? Uh, it depends what you're doing, but it's not okay, like okay. two yeah. checks. Okay. Uh, so you, this one, you've got what you've got so far. So what you're doing next, basically. So you know, obviously, about uh, this place going downhill, and you know that it's been bought and sold a couple of times. Uh, but yep. the last owners about two weeks ago um, seem to be take seem to um, wanted everybody to leave. Hmm. Um. Can I bite free again and run to the computer this time? Okay. Uh, yeah. Is there wait, is there a functioning computer here? Um. Oh, in the stuff. If, if the in? lights aren't yeah. working. Um, yeah, it's not plugged in. It's not working, but there is a computer here. Well, is there electricity like a, here? There's a tower here anyway. Um, uh, that would be, I guess it's like a sleight of hand check. To see if you can get this to work. Oh, um, okay. While they're doing that, can I walk into the basement to see the electrics? Uh, you can do if you want. You can walk into the basement, anyway. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna do that. That's a... 17. Um, 17, yep. You nice. might, you managed to find, like, nothing seems to be working, but, uh, you took an optional module, uh, in electrical engineering, um, and do you think you know how to wire this plug back up? Uh, some idiots like not fixed it, so you're just like you found like a, a something to use as like a little flathead like sp uh, screwdriver, and you're just like currently rewiring the plug, and you managed to uh, boot the computer up uh, free. Um, yeah. Can I log in? Um, that Try would one, be uh, that would be a flat investigation check. Uh, flat intelligence check, sorry, unless you have hacker's tools, in which case you can do it with do efficiency. Not. You do? I do not. You do I not. do not. Okay, so just a flat in, uh, intelligence check. Oops, I, that was investigation. I cannot read, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting in. It's a five. Um, yeah, you can turn the computer on. That was pretty cool. Um... <laughs> What would somebody use as a password? 
<laughs> Dorian shouts password one two three in the background. Uh, it is not password one two three. Uh, you try it. Is it five zero zero five? What kind of computer is it? I mean, sorry, six. Uh, it's one is of it like those, a... like, yeah. like probably like it's like four years old, something like that, maybe five years old, like a tower, uh, like a cheap sort of like LCD kind of uh, like monitor. Um, pro- feels like. It probably didn't get used an awful lot. It's one of those, like, you know, um, this is very much like a computer that has to be here for work reasons uh, and isn't, like, used very often. It's probably got, like, five or six programs on it. Um, it's on, like, I guess it's probably... It's, yeah, it's Windows 7, <laughs> let's say. Okay. Can, I, can I do an investigation check and see there's, like, a post-it with a password somewhere? Um... <laughs> Do you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna say right now. Uh, you look around, lift up the plant pot. There's a post-it note that just has a password on it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've worked in enough offices to know there's hundred yeah, percent a post-it with a password exactly, on it yeah. all the time. Yeah, that yeah would exactly. Exactly everywhere. Happen. Yeah. So you find the password. Somebody's obviously written it down because you always do with work passwords um, that everyone uses. Um, the password is is literally just the name of the shop one two three. Um, and uh, I was going to say, <laughs> uh, you you get in. Um, there's like a couple of stock taking things. Uh, it's one of those like desktops where like somebody's used it for filing. Like it takes forever to boot up, uh, and there's like twenty folders all on the desktop, and it's just like a mess. Um, I feel uh, disgusting right now hearing you describe this. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you looking for something on there in particular? Okay. Um, my boss was like, it's a history, sure. but I think I'll check the documents and see if there's anything of value there. Um, I think, uh, roll an investigation check to see if you can find like the relevant folders, essentially. This is not well organized, but this isn't a high check. It is a 20. Woo! Uh, you instantly spot on the screen um, that there is like a bunch of, like the folders seem to be like date order, like most recent over towards the right. You look down and you find like a little folder marked um, uh, final week invoices. Uh, and next to it is closing information. Um, uh, you click on closing information uh, and you find a series of kind of uh, documents. On... Um, wait, yeah. can I... Do I have a US... Okay, um, I, Simon, sorry, personally, I have a USB on my keys. Can I pretend that free also has so I can... Do you, if you Just think free, them. I think free as a student. I know I always had a USB on me as a student. So, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, I feel like you'd carry a USB. You've got, like, all your assignments in case you find, like, a way to work on them in the coffee shop or something. Uh, you... USB mission. Yeah. Can I transfer all the relevant files for the last... Yeah, you can transfer all of the, all, all the files from the last month or so. Okay, can I do this month? I didn't, like, actually, no, wait. Yeah. The most recent month, and then six months ago. Yeah, I, I'll say I'll, I'll say that most of these are just like text documents, uh, and you <laughs> have a big enough like, like one of those like pretty impressive like flash disks that are like sixteen gigabytes. These are all just like word documents. You can put like, you know, ninety percent of the documents on here into just your USB drive. Okay, cool. Am I gonna read them? Now I I don't want to check the internet because I just want to see what's there. Uh, are you going to read? Even... So are you reading? Wi Fi here. Are you reading some Sorry, of the like talking. files? Yes, yes. The uh, most recent one, the closing one. So in the closing one, you find um, correspondence, uh, lots of sort of you know. Bills, things being like paid, the company that owned the uh, like shopping center. It's some like you know, 
subsidiary of some giant conglomerate and you know they just own like land uh they've sold off the um the shopping center um it just says like you know apologies we're being uh asked that all of the places are vacated um the new uh owner has decided that they'd like to do some uh, serious renovations uh, and they don't think that it would be fair for you guys to to have to stay here because your shop's going to have to be closed for re renovations anyway. Um, a couple sort of bits more nonsense. Um, the, the bit that you find that's interesting is um, it says the construction company... Um, will be coming around as you're moving out and that they'll they'll be around to help you if you need to move any heavy equipment out of the shop um it's a company called legit constructions l e double g i t constructions like legit but with two g's <laughs> oh, it's all right. Does anyone's yeah. internet work here? Yeah. Like, can you get mobile network in this yeah. area? Can somebody try it? That works. I'm on YouTube.com. <laughs> what are you watching, Johnny? Hmm? Um, <clears throat> I'm watching, like, game tutorials. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> your your I mean, mobile phone work. network works perfectly here. I mean, I'm a mouse. I shouldn't be. I mean, I'm a rat. I shouldn't be able to speak. So I don't want to say things and like suggest. Okay. Things. Um, I can unlock my phone five minutes ago, so I'm not good to. <laughs> I will look it up then. I will Google it. Are you googling the construction company? Yes. Wait. Uh, in the document, did it say? In the document, did it say who's the new owner? It did not. Okay. It yeah, is... we're googling it. It never named the owner. It just said uh, the owner, uh, um, and it said things about you know has asked to be kept uh, kept out of any documentation, that sort of thing. Oh, um, I was wondering what you were doing. Nice chips is a fucking G. <laughs> um, oh, you drew something. <laughs> that is just chips. <laughs> um, you. Uh, on Googling it, you find like, you know, when you get like those like dodgy companies where like all you get is like one fucking like Yelp like <laughs> review page and nothing else about them comes up, like there's no internet presence, and it's like, yep. come on, man, it's you know, today you're not gonna have a website, what are you doing? <laughs> um, you see, uh, it just says, um, Legit construction and uh, waste removal, um, and there's an address in uh, Morden. Oh, there's no Morden now. There's no um, phone number or anything. Um, there's a a phone number, yeah. Um, okay. Th there's an, a phone number and an address and like the name, and that's all you've got. There is no point pulling now if it's like 11 p.m. Yeah, probably not. I mean... Is it a dodgy place, baby? Sure, I can try. You can if you want, yeah. Okay, I ring the number. Um, it rings for a while, rings for a while, um, and then you hear... Right, Steve Legg. If you want to inquire about scrap, uh, you can call when we're open or just drop it off. Uh, if you're looking for construction, uh, no can do, we're too busy. And that's it. And they just beep. <laughs> Is that a voicemail? Like a voice message, right? I think so. Oh, okay, I hung up. Yeah. 
This guy's not going to listen to his voicemails. Nowadays. I do, but at work. Um, this person's not going to listen to them, though. Yeah, we're come to it. Cool. Okay, I guess we were, we have something to do tomorrow. I want to touch the right. Yeah, which one? The, the, like, magic the one? The magic one. Or the normal one? The magic one. Um, you touch it. It feels... For a second, it feels like uh, damp, sort of like pavement, almost. Uh, and then it's just back to being the wall. Damp pavement. Hmm. Cool. Cool. I just back off and just like, okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. I don't know. That's it. Um, I thought, whatever you guys to. Uh, I'm checking the basement. Do I see anything? Um, it's kind of more of the same. Place still feels more of the same. dead. Nothing here. Um, you see, like the fuse board and all the rest of it it's still working, like. Cool. It, it, and I turn the, the 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 electrics off for the lights on the fuse board. Uh, you can do. Cool. I do that. So the lights have now been turned off. Okay. It's still currently cool. lit by like magical, like your lighting essentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. But that's one of the uh, the things that the writing told us to do. To turn off the light. Mm. Now let's just make a shadow on the wall. <laughs> um, how are you gonna do that? Just shine some light. We have a torch, right? I mean, we have flash on our phones. Yeah. I put flash. <laughs> stand like that. I guess. The I, phone like that. I stand in front of the wall like that. <laughs> okay, and then one of us puts a flashlight on you. Yeah. As as the one that can't really unlock my phone right now, uh, should I go first? Because <laughs> I can't oh. use it. You can yeah. still use Flash if you can't unlock your phone. That's true. Can you? You, you already, you already ran how. <laughs> you're already going to know how to do that. Yeah, you just... Oh, you can! Oh, wow! Yeah! I like, thought you had unlocked the phone. Oh. Here. Oh, he's the real life boomer. He's the real life boomer. But you wanted to get into tech. <laughs> 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 oh my I'm, god. I go over and I bite Johnny. Uh, nice. uh, <laughs> uh, Johnny, you've just got a rat hanging through your leg. Um, uh, as you shine a light on somebody um and laugh at uh ratters who has legit spent like their most of their adult years in the fucking sewer um and for some reason is like an elite hacker but doesn't really understand how phones work like they've been underground for like, the last <laughs> year um you guys Just shine the light and out. laugh and uh ratters you probably feel this the most um for a moment, it's like, uh, it's, it's like, you know, that feeling when you go from being outside into like a warm house, like that stepping through the threshold, like burst of fresh, like hot, warm, cozy, sort of like inside air, you get that sensation for just a moment and your magic is back and then it fades. Um, is, is it back permanently or is it just a burst of it feeling like my magic was back? Just for a moment, think, as you guys were enjoying yourselves and like laughing and all the rest of it, uh, there was a moment where you felt like you had your magic back where there was like something here again and then it's just faded away. Am I able to turn back into my human form while I'm here or am I stuck in my animal form? No, you can, you can use that. You can change forms whenever. That's Okay, yeah. Um, I turn magic. back 
into a um in my into my uh humanoid form and um take a moment to adjust you know my teeth are feeling a bit weird i thought i had a tail it's gone now um and, and i look around and i say um this this place it's it's not it's not naturally a dead zone there's something suppressing life here for a moment i felt it come back i felt my magic come back there is something really powerful it seems um is it suppressing it or is it sucking it away into another realm or has it killed it off and it's like the other realm has like shown its life for a bit um, from the portal free can you roll an arcana check I think as Salem says that. Yay, not 20 plus 4. Damn! <laughs> uh, well, fuck. That's amazing. Um, okay, not 20. Cool shit happens. Um, He's got his DM smiley face right for, now. For a moment, free. Um... Like, one of those weird sort of ribbons of light that's been swimming around just kind of, like, glints off of your lamp, uh, and you've it catches your eye, and you look down, and as um, Salem says, like, oh, like, you just see, like, Salem change slightly, as if, like, something about them is a little bit different, and they start to transform back into their sort of human form, uh, you see what you thought were like scratches um and like cracked tiling and things uh glows very briefly uh sort of pinkish red uh, and then fades away uh you gather that there is some sort of magic here um that you're not 100 percent sure on the purpose of it but it feels like uh, there is something stopping stopping anything from coming into this place. Uh, like any kind of spirit coming into this place. It's almost like it's sucking all the magic out of this place. Um, it doesn't want there to be anything here. Um, and that... With a nat 20, that pinkish light that you saw... Um, as it flared up, you felt the back of your neck, uh, briefly warm, uh, and then fade back to cold. I don't know what this means. Hello? Yeah. Um, I look at Free and ask, uh, ask them if they're okay. Um, just a little spooked and also confused. And then we, we told them all everything. Are your marks flaring up as well? What? I'm I'm just asking free. Has your mark been flaring up as well? Sorry, yes. I cut you off there, Dorian. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you. Well, were, I, I suppose actually, yeah. Um, you, uh, Ratters, and you. Johnny would have also felt your marks briefly flare up there. But the only person who saw the thing on the floor was you, Free. I know anything as a part about like places like this or like spells or like rituals Roll... or like cleansing things to remove something. Roll a religion check. Please speak. Please be good. Yeah, I, I don't even know why I expect anything. <laughs> what did you get? Uh, Eight. Wow. Well, um, you... Oh you don't know much, but... Uh, you can still recognise, I think, that this is, like bad <laughs> you know that you don't know anything about what this does uh but what whatever is happening in this place is not a good thing uh like ratters has been feeling this the whole way through but you're all like this is not a fun thing to be in this place um that thing on the wall was creepy uh 
what what has happened just then is not fun, not nice. Uh, you don't really want to be here. <laughs> Does our marks like flare up more near the writing? Um, no. When the writing glowed, which only three has seen still, uh, your marks flared then. Um, in the same way that when you were fighting those bottles and things, your marks were flaring. Um, those bottles still uh, in the shop, by the way. Yeah. Cool, and they're full of liquid, right? No, most. Uh, no. As you killed them off, they've all been like cut uh, to pieces. So no. Oh sweet. No okay. Cool, cool, they're cool, cool, just cool. like. Yeah, that's, that's what I was wondering. I was just yeah, was. Do, cool. do I die feel anything from those? Because you said like when they died, there was like rotting meat or like vain mm. flesh. So do I, like when I go to one of those broken like bottles. What I feel that, like, as a paladin, roll, don't like this. Roll a quick religion yeah, I don't check. Know. I think roll a religion check. And we'll see. Fake eleven. <clears throat> I think that's enough to know that there was something here, uh, and again, you get that very brief like warming around Julie. Uh, as you yeah. pick it up, uh, that quickly kind of fades. Um, there was something in these bottles. Whatever it was is gone. Yeah. I think, yeah, we should probably just head. I don't know what we can get from here. I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Well, has has Free, like, Free, have you shared what you saw? I don't know yet. Yeah, she told us, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh okay, yes. so we know. So you know. So you can see that there is like a series of scratches in a particular pattern. In a particular we, pattern? Can we see the whole pattern if we move the stuff in the shop? Wait, what is the pattern? Um, so uh, yeah. I'll show you on uh, DND uh, Roll 20 in a second. Yes. Um, let me just find a good picture. Um, we love a bit of pattern. Oh, Dorian, what are you making of all of this? Um, I have absolutely no goddamn idea. I was thinking if we see the pattern and we get some idea of what the pattern's showing us, we can then work out from there. Or, if you don't know, you could always reverse image the pattern if you wanted to. Um... On Google, like uh, reverse Google image search. No, no, no. Ask Jeeves. <laughs> uh, right. It looks. Um, if you go to Magic City uh, handouts, the pattern is that symbol, but just it like cracked into the ground essentially. Um, so a triangle with a, an exclamation mark, but almost made out of like cracks in the tiles. Oh, to the wolf, I love you. Um, is it in Roll20 or is it in our Discord, Discord. server? Discord. Oh. Magic <laughs> Fuck. It, okay. It sounds like like whatever like did this, it's like left its thingy imprint and then just left the place. Right? Is that mm -hmm. what I think this and is then, a warning. Oh. And I... I mean, I think we feel we've like. What happens if we stop, like the center? Do it, free, do it. You can do that if you want. It's okay. I got good Goodbury. I'll heal you. Uh, I have channel some. I have some spells. I'm gonna prepare the reaction. As you step in, I Help. think it's uh, coming. <laughs> As you step into it, um, can you just roll me a, what would it be? Roll me That's a it. wisdom save, please. Oh, a save. Dangerous. Dangerous behavior. Wait, wait, wait. 
That was a check. I think. Ten. Ten. Oh, it's a check. It's a check. Oh, that was a check. Dead. You get a B plus two for your save. Um, so, so Wait. ten plus two. Yeah. I think, yeah oh, 10 plus two. okay. Okay. Uh, twelve um, is enough. Is a twelve is enough. Uh, okay. For a second, you feel that mark on the back of your neck heat up. Um, free, and you just want to like break this place. Uh, and hit someone, and then uh, you're tapped by your keychain, um, and you suddenly completely regain control of yourself. Um, I think you know that you could break this uh, like symbol from doing whatever it's doing. Um, it's some sort of kind of like magic circle, I guess. Free, are you okay? Yeah, you're okay. You seem you dazed. I, I slide some green tea over. <laughs> you sure that's a good idea? <laughs> Last thing yeah. I want to forget. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, re I realize it's green tea and put the thermos back in my jacket. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is something wrong with this place. Uh, do you think it's to do with the place or the formation on the floor? I think it's, it might be the formation. It's definitely a warning. Should we should we ignore the warning? Should we break it? Wait, I'm a boomer. You that. always ignore warnings. Before exactly. that, can I use my lay on hand, like one HP of it on the? I don't know if this is gonna do anything. On the. But like one point on what the symbol on the floor. Oh. Uh. Is that even? It's a construct, though. I don't think you can heal constructs. I have guidance. I'm not sure if that's um, going to uh, help. Okay, I will let you roll this with guidance. You're going to have to roll like a fucking champ, though. Uh, religion. Oh, to man. use one point of your lay on has to do something. I think that's a religion check. Can I not use my charisma? Cause no, no, no. Is no, no, no. This is a religion thing. This okay. is so how, whatever how you much roll, you believe. I can add a d4 to it. Yeah, you can add a d4 to it as well because you've got guidance. But this is about how much you believe. D4. <laughs> Alright, wait. Let me roll a D4. I need that D4. Shit. Okay, so okay. 15. So 15. I say oh. a, a 15 uh, allows you to, for a second, um, what does your magic look like to everybody else? Ashwin. Uh, my ear pods. And then it's like, I go like, this the song like plays out. I don't even know what song. I'll figure out figure that out. The song um, plays I... out a bit, and you see the notes go and hit the floor. Uh, <laughs> that's what he was a good AirPod. If as, we can put here as well. As he touches the floor, uh, his his like golden AirPods just glow brightly for a second. Uh, you can hear some. Uh, I I think he's got like some like meditation music or like you know. <laughs> some some really good like relaxing chilled out I've vibes. Got careless whispers. Careless whisper is just playing <laughs> out. Uh and you see like notes almost made of like golden light sink into the floor. Uh the whole symbol glows brightly golden for a second. Uh and you can see that it's like fighting with like pink. Uh that map you again feel the symbols on your body uh, sort of flare up. Um, you, as it's like, like as the power of it's being sapped away, uh, you again start to feel like not much, but like that kind of like slight coziness. Like this place doesn't feel as weird to be in for a moment, uh, but whatever you're doing against this sort of like ward just fails. Um, to do anything lasting. You would need to break it to completely break whatever it's doing. Do you think we could, like, channel our power together to break it? Because it seems like, like one power point interesting. enough. Yeah, yeah, we just, we just <laughs> join up. We use our ring. <laughs> if you want a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers it, yeah, you can. Mighty, <laughs> can you Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Yeah. Uh, 
Do you all, are you all um, going to touch it? I'm going to yes. take my trident and try and like... And, and, and with my touch, I want to cast Guidance again. On who? Wait. On everyone. Apart no, wait, wait a minute. It's a one target who I, I touch, right? I, I think this is going to be somebody rolls Arcana with advantage. If you help them. And we'll see what happens. If you help them. Should, who's got decent Arcana? Quick! Bree is the Arcana yeah. person. Bree. I got plus four, yeah. Can I roll? Roll with advantage can... and you can add the d4 if um, Salem gives you guidance. I do. I, I touch her shoulder and I oh. and I give her guidance. Good. Go for it then. Oh. So roll two <laughs> d20s. Oh roll two Arcanas. Uh, wow. Nice. Uh, so seven plus four plus a d4. Fifteen. Fifteen. Damn. Did you oh wait, to... I'm. I got confused. Uh, the D four is the pyramid one. Where is? Actually, no. Wait, I'll just use the real one. Eleven the plus chance. fifteen. Plus twenty-six. It's the. It's the little pyramid. Where is it? Nope. This one. I love a pink dice. <laughs> I am actually jealous of your pink uh, dice. Pink sparkly yeah, dice, Salem. They are so fucking dull. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a three, so it's 14. Right? 14. Uh, I, I'll give it to you. I'll say that's enough for you to, like, uh, free at the last minute um, with, like, a little burst of kind of, like, slightly, uh, slightly old food. Uh, smell as uh, Rattus' magic sort of infuses into you. Um, That's garbage magic right there. <laughs> um, as as you're influenced me. by the uh, the garbage <laughs> magic, you um, you feel just enough strength to uh, like just sort of nudge with like your will uh, a lump of uh, the sort of uh, stone. Um, you connect the uh, like triangle uh to the exclamation mark um and suddenly the whole thing just like fizzles out um and loses its whatever there was a brief flash of that pink again and that sort of like flare up on your symbols uh and then uh the thing dies away um whatever hold it had over this place is is done um you again start to feel that kind of like there's there's a coziness, but it's really localized to like this shop. It's almost like if you leave this shop, it's 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 going to be like this all over again. But this shop feels like like it. You're in a cool abandoned shop. Like you should nick all of this stuff. <laughs> this is dope. <laughs> Who leaves all this stuff here? Like, take it all with you. It's great. <laughs> this place is awesome. Uh, that kind of um, feeling. I go over to the shelves and I start like uh, taking the um, pocky. If they've got Pocky, I start like yeah. grabbing boxes of Pocky. Yeah, you can get some nice uh, boxes of Pocky, boxes of Mochi, like, you know, nice cup noodles, all that good shit. Should we, should we like look at the other stores and see if they have like the same symbols Ooh, or words? The same oh, type of and try and like start clearing up the whole area slowly. Yeah, yeah. I'm up for it. Where's Dorian gone? We're like, well, what's He's the eating right pizza, right? eating trees. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Eating pizza. You said uh, pizza, I have to go get food now. Uh, do you want to have a quick, like, 10 minute break? I think it's a good time to have a quick break. Dorian says it, yes. Uh, <laughs> right, we'll, we'll have a quick break there and then we'll come back uh, and, and continue. Uh, you guys decide what you want to do. 21 for investigation. Okay. Uh, so, um,. With a 21, after a while, you find um, there's all sorts here in the world below. Um, this place is super, super chill. Um, you came down here to kind of like, you know, like I said, you, you spoke to Chips, who is a bit mental to speak to, uh, quite frankly. Most people down here are not quite as fucking mad as Chips. Chips is like very much like the exception that proves the rule. Most of these people are just like, you know. Homeless through no fault of their own, um, just eking out a living, uh, and you know, have become acquainted enough with the magical side of the city, 
uh, to know that it's best to seek protection from someone like uh, Chips. Chips. Uh, okay. You talk around. Um, you you can see there's two people. Um, one of them's wearing like what was probably like quite a nice like bright sort of silk Hawaiian shirt <laughs> um, and like a really mismatched kind of like old baseball cap in like a salmon pink that's like super faded. Um, he's wearing sunglasses underground obviously um and next to him there's uh there's a, like a woman in like a maxi dress in like red and yellow uh like flower sort of patterns on the maxi dress but the maxi dress is like fully like on top of about like five other layers so she's got like a long sleeve shirt on uh and like sort of like quite like an old kind of like quite boring little blouse she's got like a cardigan and then she's got a max dress on top of that um looking a bit mad but probably very warm um uh she is um they're both chatting uh, as you go past them um and you can uh hear as they are chatting um you hear the man in the kind of like bright Hawaiian shirt um, looking a bit like strange say, well, you know, Sylvie, it's lots of people go missing, aren't they? You know, it's always fucking us, Sylvie. That's the problem. No one gives a fuck about the homeless. Stupid bloody, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No funding, you know, bastards. All right, down here, Sylvie, though. Uh, you hear the woman saying, Yeah, well, but, you know, uh, Chips is doing stuff. You know, there's moves being made. They're, uh, they're sending out people, you know, looking for the profits. You know, I heard Angelise was pretty good. And, you know, you just get, like, back and forth, like, chat, essentially. Um, the woman seemed to know a lot about the world between. Oh, okay, wait. Uh, can I do that spell which increases my charisma? Uh, Emissary of Peace. Sure. Oh. Uh, I think it's my channel divinity, actually. Uh, it's an uh, old spell. Emissary of know. Peace. Uh, channel divinity, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a channel divinity. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, do that. You should have got your channel divinity back because you have a short rest. So yeah, you can do that. Yep. Uh, uh, and how much does it give? Plus 10, plus 5. Plus 5. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to be like, hey, so I heard you know about, you know, the place between. Uh, we were going to go there. Can you help us? Give us some, you know, pointers. I'm going uh, on a mission to recover the spirits. Uh, roll a persuasion check. Yes. Uh, okay, 21, because uh, plus okay. 5. Uh, with a 21, um, the woman goes, Yeah, I mean, I could take you to, you know, well between. Um... Yeah? Maybe be our be our guide. Uh, who am I doing it for? Oh, uh, hello there, Ratters. You all right? Hey, Andrea. How's it hanging? Oh, you know, it's all right, Ratters. You know, it's not the same as it used to be. Yeah. I'm still here with Benny. You know. Uh, oh. How are they doing? Uh, it's the guy in the uh, big, sort of bright Hawaiian. He's like, you know, can't complain, Ratters, can't complain, really, you know. How's the business going? You know, when you set up a business in the world below, you know, you know that trade's going to be slow. So, mm -hmm. you know, 
don't have any expectations, but we take each day as it comes, you know. Uh, Things some... are going to get better. Don't worry, don't worry. People some... know you're good people. Some days I get paid in buttons. Butters. And, uh -huh. you know, and that's not the worst. Well, you know where you can find us if you ever need a bit of help. You're an absolute sweetheart, so you are, right? As you really are, an absolute sweetheart. You really are. Oh, I have to learn it from you. And, 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 and Dre is always telling me, she's always telling me that, right, as right sweetheart, so they are, right sweetheart, aren't you? And the woman's like, I have said you're all right, yes, sweetheart, right? As you are really a right sweetheart. Uh, if you're with Ratters, we'll guide you through to the world between. No trouble. Oh, nice. You go in my way, or are you taking the uh, the way with chips? We, we uh, got chips' way open right now, but which oh, way? Oh, then we'll, we'll take chips' way. That's all right. No yeah. trouble at all, darling. Absolutely no trouble. You just follow me there. Uh, and she just starts walking over towards where Chips opened the doorway. Wait, wait, can we fix our phones first? So it works inside the... Uh... Um, yeah. yeah, you can uh, hand your phones over. Um, they were going to charge you. Uh, they're friends of Ratters, though. So, you know what? You do good work, Ratters. You just make sure when you're getting those wagamamas for chips, you get something for me and my you know it. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, <laughs> it's and uh, your phones are all fixed up. Uh, they will work in the world between. Um, nice. What good that may do you? Yeah. I'm muted. Uh, I slipped them a, a gold piece for doing my phone. Nice. Uh, he just... Uh, the... The man, actually, because the woman's the one who actually knows the world between. She's taking you there. The man, though, takes the gold piece. Uh, he nods to you and he goes, Blessings of uh, she who walks beside there, fella. And uh, sorry to hear she's uh, not getting about like she used to. Blessings be, mate. And walks off. Blessings be. And then I just say, it's just a Zimmer frame. She'll be out of it in a second. <laughs> Uh, and the old lady walks you over. Uh, are you anything you want to do in particular, uh, or are you just yeah, heading straight? Yeah, I want to ask Dorian what that was all. About. All right, you cut off at the end. What'd you say? I said, "What was that all about, Dorian?" I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. What'd you say? What was that all about, said, Dorian? <laughs> what was that all about, Dorian? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. What'd you say? Fuck you, Dorian. <laughs> Sorry, can't hear you. Are you muted? Are you taking Dorian just kind of... Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> Dorian right. just shakes his head and continues walking. So you just ignore it. Cool. Okay, we're moving on. We move. Uh, you just got blanked, Ratters. Um I want to push him to the floor, but I, I, it will get his suit real dirty, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do it anyway. <laughs> I, I want... I want to push him to the floor, please. Uh, can as you soon as she touches me. Roll an I athletics check. No, this is behind you. Roll an athletics check. Both of you roll athletics checks. Pray for me. 16. Athletics. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be grim. That's a nat one. I'm definitely falling. <laughs> um, <laughs> you... Ratters, you mean to just like, you know, like push him over, like ha ha, really funny. Um, you just completely like knock him down. Uh, Dorian, like you kind of like start to feel yourself fall. So you do that like running and you're like for a moment like, yeah, I'm, I'm staying upright. And then you just like fall and skid and just you are like <sighs> whatever was on the floor here. It's not like, you know. It's not a used sewer for some time, but it's kind of, like, mucky here. Uh, you're just covered in, like, grime, and, like, your suit is a state. Uh, damn. <laughs> uh, that's the thing that hurts. Your suit is absolutely just covered in grime all the way up, like, the front. Um, that's okay. I'll remember that very <laughs> soon. <laughs> I... I want to say I'm sorry, but we don't want to lie right now. <laughs> uh, no, you're good. You're you, good. You head on. 
you move, uh, you head on to the uh, the world between. Um, Andrea, uh, as they walk past Chips, you see Chips just completely blank them, uh, eating their like, like something out of some sort of Wagamama's bowl. Like they always seem to have some sort of Wagamama's like off cast sort of thing. Um, and they always seem to be just chowing. Um, you see that they just ignore you guys as you go past. Uh, but the woman who's leading you stops and bows deeply uh, before she goes into the, the doorway that's been opened. Um, you walk through a dark like tunnel. It feels like brickwork for a bit, and then it's just kind of like shadow and like doesn't feel real uh and as you put your like arms out towards the side uh you just hear andre in front of you go i wouldn't do that if i were you darling it's uh not the best idea to put your hands out into here when you're walking down to the world between you know you want to keep them fingers aren't they lovely fingers ratters you little sweetheart come on then follow me keep um, your hands to your toes i guess you keep moving um mm -hmm. um can we see anything aside from like the brick wall is there anything that we can see around us can i do a perception check yeah You said it was dark, right? Or was it not? There's darkness oh. all around you, yeah. It's a five. You just see, like, pitch black walls. It's not yeah. even... doesn't... It looks like... It's like bricks, but if they were made by someone who'd only ever had them described to them. Like, <laughs> they look like bricks should be. Like, they, obviously this is what bricks look like. But as you look a bit closer, you're like, mm, they don't look like bricks. Yeah. They look like weirdly regular, weirdly like, you know, not quite the right colour uh, and kind of like shadowy. With like my ridiculous dark vision, do I see anything different? No perception check. I'm not doing a perception check. Uh, I don't think you see anything uh, Would that be passive you, perception? You see the walls appear to be moving. Cool. Ooh. Friends. <laughs> we have friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't mention it. I'm the only one that sees it. Oh, okay. okay. Um, after I, we... um... Sorry. Uh, you're walking for a while. Um, does anyone check their phone or anything? Sure. Probably checking uh, daily news or something. Got to keep the update. Um, to be honest, you're looking at your Tinder, aren't you? <laughs> well, hey. I'm keeping an eye on the timer. Uh, okay. Time so time. three in particular, you notice because you're looking at the time. Um, yeah. You have definitely been walking for like half an hour, like an hour maybe. Um, the time when your phone doesn't appear to have changed. That's good. I mean, Ooh. maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, but free now you can finish all your assignments <laughs> that you were had to do. Just do it right okay. here. I turn to Dorian, who probably <laughs> I turn to Dorian, who probably has like a watch, because he's a boomer, and say like, "Can you check the time so I can see if it matches up, please?" We didn't fix up Dorian's thing, right? His suit. His watch for uh, this. Does he world. have? Because remember, we fixed our phones for this world. I, mean, I, I didn't think that was because we needed internet connection. Yeah. Okay. I'm a boomer. I don't have like a Samsung watch or like a, an Apple watch or anything like that. No, it's like just you're like a regular watch. analog watch. Normal yeah. watch, yeah. It's a normal watch. watch. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is your it... watch, Dorian, 
ticks off the seconds, but the minute and the hour hands aren't moving. Yeah. Mm. I haven't okay. replaced the battery in a while, so it might just be dead. Are um, all of our clocks saying the same time on our on our different devices? Yep. Yeah. I'm on I'm on USA East. I'm joking I'm not. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Your clocks don't appear to be moving. Um You can't tell how long you've been walking. But it feels like you've been walking for like two or three hours. Maybe. Maybe longer. You know, it's like... Has it just been straight the whole time? It's just been straight the whole time. Uh, um, Andrea? Wait, that's, that's much. How much longer do you think it will be? Oh, you know, just around the corner, love. Um, it says that two line. hours ago. Well, you know, it's it's not about how long it takes you to get there. It's about getting there in the first place. Don't want you there. Not meant to come here. Yeah. So you got to, you know, Be dance patient. around the edges. Oh. Uh, as she's saying that, you see her suddenly go, oh. And there we go. That's what we get for being impatient. You know, oh. uh, just in front of us. Um, you come out of the tunnel. Um, the tunnel opens up. Uh, in front of you is like... Think like an apocalyptic wasteland film where there's all the like abandoned, Imagine. ruined buildings. It's that. Of London. I am legend. Like you so can see legend. that it is similar to streets of London you've seen before, but it's like all the buildings are like cracked, uh, windswept. The ground is like you know dusty brown. Uh, the roads aren't paved properly. Wait, is this like the ups upside down in Stranger Things? Yeah, is it like that? I haven't seen Stranger Things, but possibly. Oh. <laughs> It's like a fucked up version of the um, normal world. Kind of. <laughs> it's the world between. Uh, Ratters, you know that things are not... Uh, lost things go to the world between. And it is not the most, sent, the most uh, safe place. There are safe places in the world between, but the place itself is a bit more uh, rugged. Yeah, I just turned to everyone and said, keep your wits about you. This place is never really as it seems, so as I've been told. All right. Okay. What are you doing? Isn't Andrea leading us? Or she, what, she, what happened? Is she done with us? Uh, I Andrea? think you've got, she starts to walk back towards the, uh, the entrance. What do you guys do? Wait, we're like, wait, 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 if you want to come back, what do we do? We, we need your help. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, no, I just assumed you'd know how to do it, Ratters, but guess it's been a while, so, uh, tell you what, Ratters, you got a symbol of chips, yeah? Yeah, chips is always good to you, Ratters. Tell you what, uh, you... Just need to find a sewer and tap that there five times. Chips will bring you back. Is that all right, love? Yep. Although it's something that we need to keep in mind. Chips said that um, it might not work all the time. No, so... he said 24 hours. It won't work. For 24 hours? Or the thing that you not... did before where Chips gave you like a blessing won't work for 24 yeah. hours. This probably will. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Won't be quick, though. Can't do it if you're getting chased. Mm. Well, that's a good heads up. So right. Five seconds, you said, right? What? Say that again? Well, you said tap it five times and, like... Yeah, and then like... chips will come and... Take... Is there, like, a summoning? I mean, I'm not saying summoning thing. What's the word? How long does it take for it to finish? Activating. Uh, for the sake of 
giving you uh, a mechanical way of understanding it. Uh, it would take you five rounds to open yes. uh, a doorway. 30 seconds, basically. But that's five right. rounds in D&D time. All so right. In the middle of a fight and we want to escape it, and we try and summon chips, it would take five rounds, five actions, before I'd be able to actually call them. Call them. As uh, Andrea says this, I tap Rattus and give them a vigilante blessing. So they have advantage on their next initiative roll. Okay. Nice. Mm, that's pretty good. That's pretty so what good. What are you guys um, up to? What do we see in front of us? Like, where in London are we? I guess you'd be uh, below in Islington. Um, to be perfectly honest, it's not like an exact replica. It's kind of like an apocalyptic kind of similar, you know, style, but it's like an apocalyptic kind of uh, version, you know, like of of London essentially. Okay. Um, like it feel, in fact, actually, it feels like weirdly like suburby. Around here, like oh. houses rather than flats. Um, I've got my phone still. Can I open up Discord and try and call um Lee Axel? Uh, you, you can. Yeah. I forgot oh. what the Discord ringing sound sounds like. Da -da, da -da. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, that. Did they change uh, it? You um. You managed to um, oh, summon up Lee, uh, Lee Haxor. Um, they they pick up. All right, Lee. Um, this hello, how are you? Blah blah blah, all of that shit. But this prophet you've been looking for, where did Chip say you'd find them? Wagwan Ratters. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Man just went to the world between, didn't it? You know, just walking around. You know, I think they'd be by the fountain, maybe. But the then, fountain. Yeah, there's a fountain here, I think. Where? Where it is. The fountain, wait, let me write that down. The fountain. Can I quickly do a divine sense? Boom. Um, While we're walking around. I'll just be walking around. Uh, I need to do something very quickly. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Um... You're doing a divine sense? Uh, yep. The first time, probably, that you do it, you don't really notice much. Uh, Wait. Are you saying I have to cast it multiple times? Uh, I think it only works for a certain amount of time. Or it's, uh, so, until the end of your next turn, so it's like, whatever. Six yeah, seconds six or seconds. Something. Uh, yep. But it's quite a long, it's like a 60 foot radius or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. The first time you cast it, don't really notice anything. Um, you guys are moving through, you're going through like a, like, this is like a weird, like, it's kind of just like, like outer London, you know, where it's like, like, like little it. terraced houses, you know. Uh, Sounds cute. But, Sounds like bushy. But it's <laughs> like um, all the grass is brown. All the trees are dead. Uh, the road isn't paved. It's just like a dirt track. Um, the houses have got like holes in. Look like they're crumbling. Um, keep moving through. Um, you can see like ahead of you... Um, 
There's uh, roll a. Uh, first of all, what's your marching order uh, as you're moving around? I guess it's front. Uh, probably the the best thing. So I'll be in, in front. You're in front. Yep. Um, there was the last. Wait, who's at the very front? Mm. Salem. Wait. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just clonking my way through. I so, think I'm near the back. So you're at the back. Uh, or near the back anyway. Where are you, Salem? Where are you, Dorian? Uh, I'm gonna be in the middle. I'll go second. Okay, so so the marching order is uh, just to double check this with you guys. Uh, the marching order is we have uh, Johnny, then uh, Dorian. And then um, we have uh, Ratters and then Free. Mm -hmm. um, is, uh, is Citrine out as well? Wait, could Citrine follow me through the crack? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> okay, yes. It's your familiar. Uh, so walking Yay! next to Free is, uh, again, like a slightly mangy, like they've obviously been in some fights but like does she you... look different in the cracks in this other world um so she looks like an urban fox is like clean so you know but here in particular her fur does not look orange it's like pinkish red uh oh like, she's fully the colour of the marks that you guys bear. Like, her fur. Does that mean she's at home? Um, she seems quite chilled out here. Um, Very nice. Can we pet her? Yes. Yeah, if you want to. I, I pet the fox. Nice. Uh... Citrine just kind of enjoys it. <laughs> meep, meep. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that what uh, the avatar says to uh, Appa? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, oh my god, this is so funny. Uh, that is now Citrine. Nice. Um, uh, do you cast Divine Sense again, uh, Johnny? You've cast it once Johnny. and got nothing. Oh, me, me, me. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I'm like, who the hell is Johnny? <laughs> I'm forgetting your name, mate. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll cast it again. But by last time, I can cast it. Till we do oh, uh, do you want guidance? No, yeah. it's just like, uh, does it, it, uh, there's no role for it, right? Is there? Just on the very edge. So just over 60 feet away. Hmm. You feel a powerful um, undead presence. You said a uh, powerful. Ah. Uh, so singular. Singular, powerful undead presence. Oh, shit. Guys, a sense of singular, powerful undead presence. <laughs> that way. <laughs> and I show them the direction. Uh, Can we see anything ourselves? Uh, let me just uh, move you so that you can see it. Uh, that's what you can oh, see. Oh, so this place looks delightful. That's what you see. Wait, wait. Is, the is, is it like dim lighting? Uh, this is all like what you can see. It's it's all feels like dim lighting, but you. Uh, this is kind of like basically what you'd be able to see. This is like mm. hard for you to see, but just about. With your current eyesight. Salem will need to leave in five minutes is what he said. Yeah. They said. You could sit down. I'm too nervous to say out loud. It's hey, alright. Um, like, guys, I need to go in five minutes. <laughs> That's nerve-wracking um, as hell. Yeah. Uh, okay, wait, can uh, Dorian see anything? Because he has a 300-foot dark vision range, right? Yeah, fuck. Uh, Dorian. 
Yes. You see this. Oh. There is a I... there is a figure by a fountain. Wait. There's a fountain. Hold up. <gasps> the fountain! Your Discord boy. Are we gonna fight a Discord mod? Because <laughs> that's gonna happen. <laughs> In the wild, the yeah. Final boss panel. <laughs> He's got a ban hammer with him. <laughs> <laughs> Plus three to hit, bad hammer. <laughs> uh, yeah, a uh, you recognise that this thing is not alive. Yo, do we go and bust it up for the sake of the light? Oh, <laughs> praise the but light! You might find the profit there. Remember, if Salem start leaving five minutes, yeah. Well, we can always uh, just get up to the point and then when Salem goes, we'll, we'll finish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Salem, remember you were told that uh, the prophet was going to be near a fountain, probably. Yes. Oh, what? Yeah, it, so we might be seeing the prophet there or we might be finding something. I don't know what's going on, but I guess we should go there and find out. Let's go there. Uh, are I... you stealthing or, or what are you doing? Okay, wait, I don't wait, even wait. know if you can stealth. I'm looking at the whole yeah. pathway right now. Realistically, I can't stealth, yeah? But I mean, how... so you can't pass without trace. Oh, I do, do pass we? I mean, you can cast it. Yeah. Then... I was thinking I go in as a distraction. You guys stealth around. What, well, like and then surprise them. them. Uh, it, it's up to you. Do you want Do you want to do pass without trace or do you want to um, um, split up? What do you guys think would be the best option? Uh, I don't think splitting up is a good idea. I mean, yeah, but I can do pass that. It's, it's, okay. I think even with really bad rolls, it should be at least 15 if it's pass without trace. I just have yeah, disadvantage and plus zero on my stealth, so... Just saying. <laughs> what do I, I, I've acknowledged I am too funky. Uh, and the other thing to remember is free you can have your familiar give you advantage anyway nice or to give somebody advantage but if they've already got advantage it's... yeah wait who would, who would cast pass without trace was it salem i can cast it with uh uh yeah do you have aren't we running spells? low on yeah are we running low on spell slots I haven't actually used any spells. I think you just you used uh, you've used Goodberry twice, I think, and you've used Primal Savagery for all your other things. So Did I don't... we use Goodberry? Oh, you, no, you used Goodberry, Goodberry you, once. You used um, you definitely used one pass without a trace to get in as well. I do remember that. Yeah. Uh, Wait, is uh, it two yeah. Goodberries or one? Because we just. Uh, I think you get ten, don't you? So. Uh, yeah, but... I used I used four, and I had six left. I think that's what the okay, calculation. Okay, then that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so, I mean, we can save our spells because we might need all the spells. Okay, you, you've got I one second one... level left if you wanted to do. Yeah, I've choice. only got one second level left. So I'll go. <laughs> Guns are blazing. All right, then go <laughs> ahead, mate. Okay, are you just all running right. towards it. Wait, wait, not yet. Trying to be stealthy. I'm going to run towards it. These okay. guys, I'm going to tell them go a th different way and stealth towards it. Uh, yeah, is that? That works for me. Do you guys uh, go with that? Johnny, do you want Citrine to keep you company? No, 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 take Citrine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, okay. does Citrine give me advantage on anything? Uh, can only, be, uh... only to her, right? No. Wait, to me as well. I think it could be anybody. I think it's anybody with uh... that. Don't know. Before, if we're, if we're splitting up, uh, I cast Bless on everyone but myself. Uh, how many can you cast Bless on? Three. Up to three creatures. So everyone but myself. Uh, up to three. Um, you, if you do it with second, you can do it with everybody. That's fine. So just for the other I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, also remember to cut, um, tick off your, like, spells whenever yeah. you use them. Right. Already uh, done. Good. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's one of your first levels. Cool. Um, you feel... Uh, 
for a moment, all three of you guys suddenly feel uh, from Dorian this like wonderful sense of not being alone. Uh, Buddy. Just, I flick them all with holy water. You just suddenly feel like you're not alone here. Um, and take comfort from your friends. Um, okay, what are you guys doing then? I'm leaving. For my nakamas, and I run towards <laughs> Bye. <laughs> wow. Peace and okay. all this. Um, you can't do an Iraq. I'm gonna say I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna say the last thing that you see, and then I think we're gonna end it there, uh, and we can start our our next session with combat. Uh, we'll do initiatives oh. and stuff. Um, Let's do this. As you get closer, um, Johnny, you see that there is a a body of a woman by the uh, fountain. Um, she's like a black woman, like probably like late thirties or something. Um, just wearing like really bright, like tie dyed kind of outfit um, uh, and like sandals, but is like slumped unmoving uh, by the fountain. Um, and as you approach, uh, the shadow turns towards you. Uh, and for a second, you see that there is someone's face uh, looking out at you. But the teeth are too large. Um, and it turns to you and just says, Hungry. I think that's time to end there. Yummy! Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Uh, I'm going to jump off. That was amazing. Thank you so much. No worries. That was great fun. Yeah. <laughs> that was a quick exit. <laughs> <laughs>